Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're faced once again with a new patch, and with a new patch, we get awesome new features. So we've got quite a few today to look at, but first of all, I'm just going to take a look around the new platform that they've redesigned, edited, and fixed up for us. So the platform was getting quite outdated a few patches ago. Lots of the ships didn't have the equipment that they needed to actually help you on your survival. And you had to build a lot of it yourself. But this starting platform now has been completely refitted. We've got a grinding zone so we can grind up a ship. We've got a resupply point so we can resupply our ships there. Looks absolutely beautiful. The blue ship's been refitted. We've got heavy armor on the deck so we can actually land ships inside. We've got the glass corridor now instead of them silly little vents that were there before. And now it just looks so much better. We also have a little bit more of edits to the actual fighter themselves. So now the fighters are completely connected up. You can see we've got these little connectors all the way around. And we've also got a resupply point underneath the fighter there. Now the mining ship's been refitted as well. The mining ship can now hold a lot more ore. So we've got these new little drill bits on the front. And down the sides we have the actual sort of compilers so when this is actually drilling in it's going to suck all the stuff through here and basically right into the back of the machine and feed it back into the crates so a really nice design anyway let's move on to the main factors of this patch so we're now in my secret testing facility where i test a lot of the patches and the first thing i want to show you is one of the new objects and that is the corner block for the conveyors so previously we had to mount this square block and it looked really really ugly but now we've got this square sort of triangular corner and it looks pretty tasty it keeps the flow of the pipe without breaking it up absolutely beautiful now let's move on to weapons now a problem with actual some of the weapons on the ships was that you didn't want to fire too much ammunition but you were always forced to fire two weapons or all the weapons on the ship at the same time but now that has changed so if we actually get up we can actually see the first change as well itself is we have the gun with actual ammunition readings down at the bottom. So if you have a look, we have eight rockets and we have 1,120 machine gun rounds. And that updates as you fire, like so. So you can load up your box magazines and you instantly know how much ammo you need without going through a load of menus. So let's talk about switching weapons. So we've got two weapons currently equipped and that's ideal to engage some targets where you need maximum firepower. But in this situation, I simply don't need both weapons so I'm going to turn one off by pressing the middle mouse button or in mine is the scroll wheel so I hit the scroll wheel and now I only fire one weapon so I'm saving ammunition because I'm firing double with that and I'm firing single with this so I've just cut the head right off of that target and it's much more effective now moving on to rockets this is where it's really key We've got two rockets here, and previously we'd have to fire two rockets, and it, it, would, it wouldn't be good. You're wasting too much ammunition. One rocket is sufficient enough to destroy a small ship or a fighter. So we switch it to one, target that guy, and there we go. That's all we need. Much easier than firing two when we don't need them. Previously, the assault rifles weren't too good, but now they've been increased four times the damage, so hopefully we'll see some interesting results. So on the standard sort of plate targets, you can already see the damage itself, and against the actual human counterpart that's coming out here now, is it makes it a lot easier to kill them. A lot easier. It means no grinding maniacs are running around trying to murderize every single person in the station. So you can easily pick them off from a distance before they get close. Very nice. Let's move on. Now here it is, something that we've been waiting for for a hell of a long time. It's of course the rocket turret. Now this thing is an absolute monster. It looks absolutely amazing. It is absolutely scary to be shot by this thing. Now there's probably a few questions running through your head. The first one, does it lock onto its target and fire tracking sort of missiles? And the answer to this is no. It fires just standard missiles that go in the direction, so you can outrun them, outmaneuver them. You don't actually get locked on and tracked by that actual missile. Now, the second thing you're probably wondering is what new settings are there with these turrets? Now, this applies both for Gatling guns and these, so if we just hop over here behind my protective little cover and activate it from here, we have a few different options. So if we go into the rocket tur turret or the missile turret, 
we can see we can say use the conveyor system so say we don't want it taking the ammunition out of our main sort of power plant we can turn that off targeting meteors that's going to depend if we're going to shoot a meters or not of course target moving objects now this is interesting but you've got to be very careful with this setting if you're not too careful you're going to blow yourself up and get yourself stuck in a very sticky situation so then we have a final option of target missiles now if you're using this on a missile turret like this it's a complete waste of time but i'm glad they've added that feature because if people are um, if bigger missiles come in at some point it's gonna be absolutely amazing but they've done exactly what i was hoping for and made these sort of systems the sort of defensive armaments where the player is there to make his own sort of offensive more dangerous armaments than these themselves now we copy our object and i'll just show you it's going to try to find a lock already on us so it's pretty much very efficient like i'm going to try to evade it now and it, it it's locked onto me already and it just pelts me it's just pelting me like the only way to avoid it is stand perfectly still now it's, it's like that it's like the movie did it did it oh I look away da, da, da. but yeah I, I don't think it's a very effective way of attacking it da, 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 da. but yeah i guess eventually if your attacker's trying to engage it this way with the moving targets on you could edge closer and closer like this but i mean that's maybe only one of the flaws and then it does have um a naming dead zone underneath so if your attacker does get to a position like this where you can access the keypad you could probably just simply turn it off. So after looking at the missile launchers, I've came to the conclusion that they are not something you can use purely alone. You need to combine these with Gatling turrets to be have that maximum effectiveness that they actually deserve to have. Now, the intercept ships very well. Intercepting asteroids, terrible, absolutely hopeless. But when you need them, or maybe when you're targeting that other large ship, they're the perfect weapon in your arsenal. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.